we're at a point right now in the world where people are starting to wake up to a lot of problems that we have in society. And that's why the, the video on sociopathy was doing so well for Shane Dawson. That's why, you know, everyone wants to watch all these exposure videos, looking at the bad guy and who's wrong and all this stuff. Everybody wants answers. So who are you to promote this stupid shit where if you're an idiot, don't share your opinion. If you have bad opinions, don't talk about what's on your mind. There's a million subjects out there, man. There's a million fucking subjects out there. So always share your fucking opinion. And, and, and you can't blame depression or anxiety for this, man. Like, You don't understand psychology. You are misinforming everyone. You can't excuse your problems with, oh, I'm depressed or I have anxiety, but some of the blame can be on those things because that's a part of psychology. People, I say it all the time. People do little things to reveal themselves all the time without even realizing it. That's how this guy thinks, you guys. This isn't, he's, he's no better than Ethan. If Ethan can criticize people in his videos, I have the right to criticize him. If I'm going to criticize people in their videos, you have the right to criticize me. But the one thing you're never going to fucking hear me say is, oh, your opinions are stupid, so don't share them. Like, I'm just disgusted with hypocrisy, yes. But if I do something that's hypocritical, if I, if I do and somebody, somebody says, hey, you did this, but then you criticize someone for this, I'm not going to say, oh, let me not share my opinions anymore ever. I'm going to say, you know what? You're fucking right. I need to change that. That's why you have to talk about your opinions. Be actively trying to help yourself if that is the case. You need to be actively trying to help yourself. You don't know what he's doing in his spare time. And you're not giving any suggestions. I hate it when people do that. You need to go get help. They always tell you to go get help from someone else. They always tell you to go talk to someone else. They always tell you to go just just fix it. You can fix it. I promise you I've never looked and felt this great ever before. That's your brand. That's your competitive advantage. That you're confident enough to... Listen to him. This fucking accountant back here talking about some... Uh, that's your competitive advantage. Listen to how he speaks. This is why I keep saying context clues, you guys. Context fucking clues. This is why it's important to talk about these things regardless of your opinion. This is why it's important. How are you ever supposed to learn something or understand things if you don't talk about it? You're just supposed to listen? You have to also talk about it to bounce ideas off of people. That's the whole point. You say your opinion and then you get criticism back. You have to talk about people's behavior. You have to figure out what your morals are, where your moral lines are, you know, what's crossing the line for you, and then understand your behavior and everyone else's and divvy it up through that. Like, I know you've brought it up a number of times, but come on. Like, at this point, we need to see some progress. It's getting worse and worse. You need to... Listen to him. Oh, I, I know you brought it up a, a number of times, but we need to see some progress. Who the fuck are you to tell him how much progress he needs to make? I, I can't take it anymore. Because he's an edgelord. And this is what edgelords do. They're edgy. They talk about edgy shit. A bunch of empty shit. And then if somebody else is fucking up, they're the first people to fucking take them down. Even though they'll do the same fucking shit anyway. But if they're clever enough to get away with it, that makes it okay. I'm tired of it. When is it going to stop? Alright, hey guys. So, you know, I'm back to do another video of another opinion on another person that I can't stand. So, uh, right off the bat, before I get into any other introductions, this is fucking annoying because, you know, they're starting off saying the following video was completed after hundreds of hours of research, recording, and editing. Why do you have to announce this to the world? No one gives a shit that you had to spend hours researching and editing to expose someone. Like, that's what an exposure video is. I don't know, like, this is just pretentious. This is, this is already giving away that this person is pretentious. So, moving on to whatever introduction I'm trying to do here. I actually don't have a whole lot that I want to address in this video. And I'm going to be skipping through a good bit of it because this guy spends, like, long-ass segments just doing random skits that have nothing to do with what the fuck he's talking about. Like... Just skits. It. That's part of his hours of work, by the way. He could have cut that shit the fuck out. So, you know, I'm not going to be pausing and playing for an hour and 35 minutes with this shit. There's just some stuff I want to talk about. 
because this is a perfect example of some shit that I'm, I'm really over on YouTube. I think it's the, the worst thing about YouTube right now. So, without any further delay, let me skip towards... Oh, it's, it's actually at the beginning. We can start at the beginning. But I am going to speed it up as I usually do because, you know, yeah. I'll put it on 1.5. That should be good. Alright, here we go. If you have the time, please watch the end before forming an... Again, like this person... If you have the time, please... Have you guys ever heard me say, like... If you have the time, please watch to the end before forming an... Like, this is pretentious. Again, he's very pretentious. And the... He's... I don't have to watch your whole video to have an opinion if you are addressing multiple things. I don't need to watch the entire thing. Especially not the random fucking skits you keep putting in the fucking video. So, no, I'm not going to watch all the way through from the beginning to the end because fuck your video, man. I, I can still formulate an opinion as long as you listen to an entire opinion of someone or you get the point of their opinion and then you address that, that's fine. I don't have to watch everything. <sighs> I just hate this person. Look at how long that intro took. It took 13 seconds. Um, you know, the text and the, just to ask you to watch the whole thing and saying how long it is. As you can see why. here, we got a nice chunk of, of feces, you know, and so, okay. oh my god, just give it a taste. Get the okay, so they're like showing Ethan, you know, being an edgelord and all that shit. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's supposed to be comedy, by the way. You know, oh, let me fall out of the door and like flop on the ground. It's so funny. It took so much effort. Oh my god, all these hours of work I had to put in. And now he's got this like sad as fuck mope or whatever. He's gonna stare at the screen. And here we go. We got another edge lord in training. That's just fucking great. I'm so fucking tired of this shit. This scene right here lets you know that this guy is an edge lord. Therefore, you calling out some other fucking edge lord for being an edge lord. Makes you a piece of shit. I'm fucking tired of it. But I'll get into that in just a little bit. So now that we've seen this retarded ass opening, I'm going to skip through, you know, he has these like little cuts. First of all, him standing and doing cringy, awkward, like shots in front of a dark hallway. He really loves that fucking hallway. He must have thought it was very cinematic. So this is him feeling like a detective. He's like a, he's like a kid. He's like a man child. He's like, I'm living out my detective fantasy right now. Dead serious. That's what he's doing. Conflict of interest. Take matters into my own hands. 50% lovable, 50% hateable. Man, this is really some important shit you had to write down. What else does he say? He says, am I taking it too far? This is the shit he's writing down on little flip notes and shit. Yeah, doing karate shots in his hallway. Absolute shithead. You really had to put that there. So again, this guy's just living out of fantasy. We're going to skip through and let's look at his intro. Ethan Klein has done a lot for the YouTube community and his main channel videos are pretty funny. So why am I making this video? Because he's a hypocrite and because he can't take criticism. So understand that he said that Ethan is a hypocrite and can't take criticism. That's his point of making this video, right? You know that there's like... Thousands of other people who do the same thing. That shouldn't ever be your point of making a video if you're just going to point out that somebody's a hypocrite and can't take criticism. Like, what is the point? You know, when I do my videos and I talk about people, it's because I'm trying to show examples of something that most people have that's wrong with them. I, I say right up front, I hate most people. But he's not doing something like that. Here he's just like... This person in particular is a hypocrite. This person in particular is doing X, Y, Z. And his video is not productive at all. So, you know, he shows in the leafy rant um, that he... Basically what he talks about here is, yeah, you know, uh, Ethan was uh, saying that he he's friends with Leafy. He's his friend and he didn't want to, you know, do too much to fuck him over even though he was kind of passive aggressively fucking him over and then he shows like a clip of you know h3h3 with idubs 
when Idubs did his exposure video. So he's like, looks like you got the payback you wanted in the end anyway, didn't you? So that's just basically what he's saying here. You know, he's going through all these different points of how Ethan is fucked up. You should always support your friends when they have more subs than you and public opinion is on your side. It's a joke. He's not serious. There's a big difference, guys. Context matters. As a Jewish person, I'm not offended. Flash forward. PewDiePie's in hot water, man. He says the N-word. Yeah, he dropped a, he dropped the N-bomb, and he dropped it pretty hard. It was more of just like a Hiroshima. Yeah, it's pretty much worst-case scenario, you know, when they drop nuclear bombs. So he goes through this clip, and then he shows the part where Ethan, you know, starts saying, oh, I I love saying nigger faggot. And even Idubs is like, I think you're being a little bit liberal with that. You know, so he's being a hypocrite there. So let me speed forward. Has over 28,000 dislikes on his most recent podcast. Almost more dislikes than likes on this thing. They think that Ethan H3H3 H3, is being a hypocrite because on his podcast. That's what this is all about. Yeah. Oh, Keemstar is the pinnacle of three free thought. Drama alert. Welcome to the stroke victim nation. What a fucking over here. loser. You're, you're watching actual professional comedians this, with their hot This takes. is a fucking nearly 40-year-old man who thrives on making videos about Jake Paul. Let's, let's turn to him for the news. So this is, you know, Ethan getting angry at um, everybody who had an issue with him being a hypocrite. And he couldn't take the criticism, right? So um, he's showing examples of that here. Now, God. Getting to one thing I want to address about this guy, actually. Footage, man, of you. You being super comfortable saying it on a live stream multiple times, like, are you? 16, blah, blah, blah. okay. I forgot to point out one thing here. So if you look in the background, I I was looking at a blurrier version before, but you can see that he has books on accounting. <laughs> um, You know, so he's yet another one of those, like, uh, I'm, I'm kind of close to this mic right now. Math majors or... You know, like, you know, he's one of the best, um, he's, he's just ripe for being a pretentious person because he's so book smart. You get my point. And in his video, he talks about how it's, it's not, he, he specifies that the problem isn't that Ethan is who he is. He makes that point and I'm going to show a clip of it here. He says that that's not the problem. Just don't let your channel suffer. Keep that in mind. So let's try to find that. Okay, so here's the clip. Um, so he says... Since John hit a soft spot there, let me uh, poke a little further into it. Ethan, you started the podcast because ad revenue was low. There's nothing wrong with that. If you need money to support yourself, then get it however you need. Just make sure your content doesn't suffer. But let me... So he says it here himself. Get it however you need. Just make sure your content doesn't suffer. So, however you need. And that's what people like this honestly believe. You know, it, it, because they live in this mindset of, um, if you look at, I, I said it in my last video, if you look at the richest people in the world, they're billionaires. And it takes a really fucked up mind to be that rich, you know. They get money however they need. And so, what bothers me, and one of the many millions of reasons why I hate people is because he's saying, oh, Ethan was disrespectful to this guy, but here he's promoting to get money however. And this is when people say, oh, it's a slip of a tongue, or you didn't know if he meant it that way. That's what he means. Why would you tell someone to get money however you need it? He's an edgelord. If you watch this video yourself, you can see he's an edgelord. He has the same fucking humor as I does. He has the same fucking humor as Ethan. He's an, he's an edgelord. So it, he's, he's one of those people who look at how long his video is. Everybody knows that YouTube right now is the longer your video is, the more money you make. And his video is an hour and 35 minutes long, you guys. Okay. And this is the point he makes. I'm going to remember the timestamp in case I need to come back 53 minutes. Okay. He has a scene back here near the beginning that is so fucking long and absolutely nothing of context is is in the scene there's no point to have this in here and it's just a complete waste but gives him more runtime all right let me speed this up to two oops okay <laughs>
Okay, as you can see, like, all this is just... None of this was... Even just here, this is already fucking... Pointless, 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 talking about buying a weapon. And, you know, he might make some, like, references to the shit he's talking about, but none of this has anything to do with his fucking... Here we go, we got the meme lord, edge lord bullshit for his background for the next chapter. Is that this is a fucking, like, book or something? Okay, so, this scene took up, it starts at 1753, takes up a good three minutes. For no reason. It's there for no reason, just like his opening with, you know, him being the detective, doing the karate shots in the hallway, throwing up on Ethan's picture, showing Ethan being meme -y. It's the same thing Colossal is Crazy does with his Foozie tube videos and stuff. It's just a bunch of ridiculous scenes that take up time for no reason. But then you got people, like on my last video, saying, Why is your video 50 minutes long? <laughs> So you can watch, like, these these people can watch all these other people doing these useless scenes. Taking up so much fucking time when they're honestly trying to get that runtime. That's the point. Like, he could cut out so much from this that has nothing to do with what he's trying to say. Whereas I'm actually talking about important shit. So, um, since somebody just so happened to mention that in the last video I made, when I've been wanting to make this for a while, um... That's further proof that I don't need to make my shit any shorter than it is. Even if I repeat like a couple things, it's within context and it's warranted. So back to my point, you can see that his video is so fucking long for no fucking reason. Putting these useless scenes in and then he tells people to, and then he says, oh yeah, get the money however you need it. So let's get back to that now. It goes about here. Ethan, you started the podcast because ad revenue was low. There's nothing wrong with that. If you need money to support yourself, then get it however you need. Just make sure your content doesn't suffer. But let me fill you guys... Actually, that proves it right there. He said you started the podcast because ad revenue was low. See, he knows that long videos give you money. He proves it right there. So he's well aware that this long-ass video is going to help him make some money. If it does well. Remember the books, people. But since John hit a soft spot there, let me uh, poke a little further into it. Ethan, you started the podcast because ad revenue was low. There's nothing wrong with that. If you need money to support yourself, then get it however you need. Just make sure your content doesn't suffer. But let me fill you guys in on a little little juicy detail, a little, little piece of mm, nice meat. Do you want to know why, Ethan? You just did like the fucking um, Einstein thing. Mm, cream of the crap, whatever he says. Fucking, who's also a fucking edgelord. And he's even got the fucking uh, South Park in the background. I'm telling you, edgelord central here. Suffer. But let Messy me fill room, you guys in on a little, little juicy detail, a little, little piece of mm, nice meat. Do you want to know why Ethan has focused so heavily on the podcast over the last year? Why he hasn't made any original content in the last four months? Why his Twitter now links to the podcast channel instead of the main channel? It's because... The podcast makes a fuck ton of money. Let me uh, let me break it down for you. Hmm. Why is it that almost every YouTuber I know of has started a podcast this year? Well, the answer is pretty simple. They make money. It's because podcasts can get direct sponsors, and direct sponsors make a lot more than just regular content. But here's where the problem arises. Each episode of the H3 podcast has three to four sponsors. That is insane. And then he, he doesn't mention that the length of your video also gets you a fuck ton of money on YouTube, too. Like, it honestly helps when you have a long video. It gives you more money. That's a thing. And you can put more ads... On, on videos past 10 minutes but the longer a video is the more money you're going to make off of it most of the time which is why animation channels had so many problems until they started doing animations where they um just talk about their lives and animated then they started making more money again but the short one two minute animations don't make a lot of money because of that and he keeps that out because his video is an hour and a half long and it's a waste of time this episode is sponsored by me undies movement Nature Box and Dollar Shave Club. Uh, this episode is brought so to you he by shows Clip. examples here. I don't know why I click play here. He shows examples of that. Like this video just makes me want to die inside. And then he goes over to listen to this guy's moral center or whatever. Okay. It's your source of factual information. <laughs> Disconnect your internet, dude. So right here, up to this point, he already showed like some examples of people debunking some of Ethan's opinions, right? Like, he shows some cop trying to make up excuses for how cops aren't as, you know, fucked up as they are. Now, he points out some decent things, like saying, yeah, you know, his portrayal of the incident that involved the cops with Ethan's particular segment wasn't accurate to the real story. But it's coming from the perspective of a cop who is also making up excuses for cops as if they're not brutal maniacs. 
which they obviously are. Look at the fucking country. Like, cops are running rampant, so that's horrible. But he doesn't address that because anyone who's on his side, anyone who's making the points that need to be made on his side, he's going to promote in this video. He 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 quotes Idubs in this video. And again, Idubs is a huge hypocrite and a big-ass edgelord, a man-child, and it's fucking annoying. And even with his own videos, like, he has the same type of humor as these people. So anyone who's on his side... You know, anyone who's helping the point that he's trying to make, he puts them in this decent light. And anyone who's on the side of the person he's taking down, he shows them off as if they're a fucked up person. And it manipulates a lot of these viewers into thinking he's some sort of decent person. He has his head on straight. Because, as I said in my last video, people are hungry for answers. We're at a point right now in the world where people are starting to wake up to a lot of problems that we have in society... And that's why the the video on sociopathy was doing so well for Shane Dawson. That's why, you know, everyone wants to watch all these exposure videos, looking at the bad guy and who's wrong and all this stuff. Everybody wants answers. They do. People want to be more aware of these things, but they keep looking for it in the worst places like this guy. And now this guy is going to start rising up. He's going to be doing his fucking exposure videos. He's calling himself the vid the video vigilante, just like content cop. And, you know, it's just, it's, this is not how you get these answers, people. Watching content like his is not how you get answers like that. Because he is somebody who also promotes the fucked up shit in society that everyone hates. So, before I play this clip, again, he showed a bunch of examples up to this point of Ethan being exposed or debunked for his opinions and showing oh your opinions don't make sense Ethan okay sometimes Ethan says stuff that is okay he says stuff that is on point so you cherry picking statements and making it seem like everything that comes out of his mouth is bad is a problem I have never said what this guy is about to say so I'm gonna play the clip now and then fucking rage okay or source of factual information <laughs> Disconnect your internet, dude. Ethan, why bother talking about serious shit, man? Like, seriously, why, why take the risk? Your opinion is not that important, Ethan. Who the fuck are you to tell somebody not to talk about important things? And how can you say that that's not why they were watching his stuff? Are you stupid? Are you slow? Are you blind? Are you deaf? Because a lot of Ethan's popular videos was him sharing his opinions. When he did his videos on DJ Khaled, you know, mixed in with all the edgelord stuff and all the goofs and gaffs, he was talking about serious things in those videos when he talked about all the prank channels. When he talked about even with Leafy, people subscribed to him and people continued to watch his content because he was sharing his opinions. The reason why you're getting views on your video right now is because you're an edgelord, which is a shit that people respect right now because everyone has to assert dominance to gain respect in society these days or you have to be super cute and oh so kawaii. You know, so on, on any of those spectrums. That's why people are watching your shit right now. That's why people watch iDubs. iDubs has the same type of fucking content as Ethan. He has shit that's disgusting and gross and, you know, like all this um, shit humor and vomit humor and dick humor. And then he also addresses serious topics. So who are you to promote this stupid shit where if you're an idiot, don't share your opinion. If you have bad opinions, don't talk about what's on your mind. There's a million subjects out there, man. There's a million fucking subjects out there. So always share your fucking opinion. Even if you have somebody like me who's fucking mad at it. When I get mad at people's opinions, usually it's because it's because of some sort of moral thing. Like I'm just disgusted with hypocrisy, yes. But if I do something that's hypocritical if I if I do and somebody somebody says hey you did this but then you criticize someone for this I'm not gonna say oh let me not share my opinions anymore ever I'm gonna say you know what you're fucking right I need to change that that's why you have to talk about your opinions if Ethan can criticize people in his videos I have the right to criticize him if I'm gonna criticize people in their videos you have the right to criticize me but the one thing you're never gonna fucking hear me say is oh your opinions are stupid so don't share them because he's promoting right here and right now for Ethan to just make stupid videos and the dumb humor that he always does like just ask yourself how did you get here 
You went from being a complete By sharing his fucking opinions, dumbass. Fucking loser to having millions of subscribers, fans, and dollars. That's not a light matter. That happens for a reason. Was it because of your rock solid opinion on everything? Yes. No. It's because you dress up like a retard. This is not why people subscribe to him. Strip it all away, and that is why you are funny. That is what people want to see. They want. Uh, uh, listen to him. That's why. That's why you're funny. Okay, him being funny is not the same as why people listen to him. Those aren't the same thing. He just said that it, it, that's why you're funny because you dress up like this and he's about to say because you do things that people don't have the confidence to do, etc. If that's his humor, that's his humor. You just threw up on a fucking wall for, for a comedy. You have the same type of fucking humor as him. You had the stupid skit with you buying a gun. You have the same humor. You're doing karate kicks in the hallway like a three-year-old, a fucking man child, just like the rest of them. You have the same fucking humor. And you're going to tell him that's why people subscribe to him. You're doing the same thing, but you want to talk about him being a hypocrite. And you want to expose him. And you want to endorse for him to stop sharing his opinions. Stop talking about serious things. Stop talking about stuff that people obviously want to hear him talk about. And want to hear more people talk about in the YouTube Rewind right now. Everybody's fucking mad because it's empty. They keep talking about all these social issues and psychological issues. And they can't even mention the word depression. They can't even mention the word abuse. They can't mention any psychological terms, but they want to say mental health because that's what's safe to say. They don't care about mental health. That's why people are mad. They don't care about actual positivity. They don't care about making the world a better place, but they'll say that they do for profits. They'll say that they do for views. They'll say that they do to create this big old commercial to promote their fucking website, but they don't care about it. This is the stuff that people care about. And you're telling him to silence himself because he doesn't he doesn't fit the bill. Who the fuck is supposed to talk about this stuff then if not Ethan? Who has the right to discuss these things if not Ethan? And I'm just gonna cut in real quick to say, how the fuck is he gonna say at the beginning of the video? Ethan Klein has done a lot for the YouTube community. And then he says, Why bother talking about serious shit, man? Like seriously, why, why take the risk? Your opinion is not that important, Ethan. Like just ask yourself, how did you get here? Was it because of your rock solid opinion on everything? No. It's because you dress up like a retard. They want to see you make yourself look like a complete retard. You can criticize others and point out the obvious, but at the end of the day, everyone just wants to see you dress up like a retard. What the fuck? It's just a complete contradiction. So it's like he knows that he's smearing Ethan right now. He just lied straight to everyone's face. And all these dumbasses watch this shit and they're, they just, they love it. Even though he's manipulating you right in front of your own eyes. He just lied to you. You're telling him not to talk about anything serious. It's not not this specific topic because you don't know enough about it or you don't have the right perspective. Nothing serious. Don't share your opinions and be a dumbass because that's the only thing you're good for. Let's see you make yourself look like a complete retard. I promise you I've never looked and felt this great ever before. That's your brand. That's your competitive advantage. That you're confident enough to- Listen to him. This fucking accountant back here talking about some- uh, that's your competitive advantage. Listen to how he speaks. This is why I keep saying context clues, you guys. Context fucking clues. I say it all the time. People do little things to reveal themselves all the time without even realizing it. That's how this guy thinks, you guys. This isn't, he's, he's no better than Ethan. I did my video on Ethan because I had a problem with him. And when he started his podcast, I even told my friends, and I wanted to make a video on it. I, I put it off because of things that were happening at the time. But I wanted to explain, I'm happy. I'm happy that he's doing his podcast. Because people are going to hear him say stupid shit more. Because I've been saying that he's saying stupid shit for the longest time now. Ever, even though nobody notices it. And I'm like, if he does a podcast where it's uncut, and he's just talking and talking, people are going to realize that, and then it's going to catch up with him. That's the beauty of these edgelords. The more that they talk and the more videos they have, that's when the exposure videos come out. I'm going to get to that cycle in a minute, because he's a part of that cycle. If you guys haven't noticed the fucking cycle yet with all these edgelords and exposure videos. So... The more he talks, the more people are going to hear his hypocrisy and they're going to start playing it out more and more. And then he'll have a few options. He can either own it and say, I don't give a fuck and keep doing it. He can either own it or not own it. And then based off of those things, he can keep going like that and be a hypocrite and not give a shit um, and try to play it off, you know, be manipulative and seem like he's changing when he's not. 
Or he can see him back. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm a piece of shit and it's fucking up my life. I need to change myself. I need to recognize that this is not okay and try to better myself because that's going to make my life better. Or he can just drop dead from the, the fucking internet and get some other kind of job. And most people do the first thing where they just, most people just go on with their lives and act like they're not the stuff that everyone's calling them or it's not that bad. Or there's people worse than me, you know, like they do that. And he didn't do that. He, he didn't do that. He actually put out a video recently um, where he talked about, I, I was surprised, like he actually talked about um, how he has this ego and he take things to heart and things will personally affect him. Understand that this guy right here told Ethan in this video just now not to share his opinions because no one cares about it and he doesn't qualify to share them. His, his opinions are too stupid for him to even share them, to even talk about any serious topic. But if he had have actually listened to this guy, he never would have addressed the fact that he was like this. This is why it's important to talk about these things regardless of your opinion. This is why it's important. How are you ever supposed to learn something or understand things if you don't talk about it? You're just supposed to listen? You have to also talk about it to bounce ideas off of people. That's the whole point. You say your opinion and then you get criticism back. And that's what starts this. That's how you start a conversation. That's why everyone says start a conversation because starting a conversation is important. But we only, the problem is that people only ever start it. You know, that's a separate thing. I'm not going to get into that too much. But for the people who say, oh, start a conversation, they always want to get it started, but no one continues it and addresses the problems and try to fix them. They just say, oh, this is an issue and it's okay to talk about it. And then they leave it there. So my point is that's why they say it though, because you have to have a conversation to come up with solutions. He has to talk about these things to fix any problems he's had. When I've had issues in my life with myself, things I don't like about myself, I talk about them to address them. I keep sharing my opinions and then I notice patterns with myself and fix them. That's, that's the whole point of being a good person. If, if it's your goal to be a good person, to do decent things, to try to be the best you you can be or whatever, you have to talk about people's behavior. You have to figure out what your morals are where your moral lines are, you know, what's crossing the line for you and then understand your behavior and everyone else's and divvy it up through that. But you're never going to understand those things. If you don't talk about them, how are you going to understand what your morals are as a person? If you don't talk about moral subjects. So when this guy tells him not to do that, it makes me just want to fucking scream. This stuff makes me just want to rip all my hairs out. It makes me want to jump out a fucking window. I, I can't take it anymore. Because he's an edgelord. And this is what edgelords do. They're edgy. They talk about edgy shit. A bunch of empty shit. And then if somebody else is fucking up, they're the first people to fucking take them down. Even though they'll do the same fucking shit anyway. But if they're clever enough to get away with it, that makes it okay. I'm tired of it. When is it going to stop? When are we going to stop falling for this, you guys? This is the cycle. You, you, you ready for that? The cycle is there's an edgelord that rises up. You can look at Leafy, you can look at Keemstar, you can look at FouseyTube, you can even look at the ones who haven't gone down yet or anything. You can look at fucking PewDiePie, you can look at iDubs or whoever. These edgelords rise up because people want to hear their opinions. That's why all of them have risen up. People want to hear their opinions and the stuff that they have to talk about. There's a pattern here. Somebody comes along and exposes them because the more opinions they share, the more hypocritical they become and the dumber they sound and the older they get too. So when you're doing all this immature childish shit, when you're 40, you look like a fucking idiot. It was always stupid, but people gave you a pass because you were younger or because you looked younger. They call you out, the video gets exposed, and then that person usually becomes the next like fucking edgelord everyone flocks to from the other channel. And then they listen to them and shit like that. And it's just a cycle that fucking continues. Because then that person, after they've done all their exposure videos, someone calls them out for being a hypocrite. And then the next person comes along. And the next one. And the next one. Ethan was calling out people. And now he's been called out. Leafy was talking about other people. And then people started talking about him. It's a cycle. It's a fucking cycle. And this guy is no different from the rest of them. He's a fucking edgelord and he's fucking worthless. And it just pisses me off 
that you're going to shame somebody else for sharing their opinions because they were stupid to you. That's never a reason to stop talking. That's never a reason to stop talking. I don't care how dumb your opinions are to the world. Keep fucking talking. If you actually have problems, he shares in this video, this guy shares issues that he has with Ethan's behavior. And, and he shows some of his morals here. He, he talks about that. So he has some sort of conscience or um, uh, some sort of guideline in his head for what a decent person is, right? He has that. But he, he isn't recognizing his own flaws within himself because he's looking for other people to take, take down to make himself more successful. That's not something that I'm trying to do. And don't ever get it mixed up, okay? Don't ever think that I, I'm just trying to step on other people to make myself successful. I have a serious fucking mission here. I have a reason why I'm talking about these things and I can't reveal everything now. I can't talk about everything I want to say now. It's not only is it going to take time to address everything, but there are certain reasons why specific topics I am holding off for a certain period of time until the time is right um, in my life to discuss those things. But it's gonna go a lot farther than it has already. I have a lot of things that need to be talked about that no one talks about. And I have yet to see people make a video like the one I'm making right now. That's why I make my videos. Shit like this, you can see anybody make exposure videos like this. So don't ever think I'm like these people. Cause people, people mix up, I, I've said it before, empaths and sociopaths are um, empaths, psychopaths, empaths, sociopaths, all those things. They're very similar, but they're going in two completely different directions. Don't ever mix me up with someone like this. And I'm not saying he's a sociopath, but I will say he has sociopathic tendencies as most people do. And he's fucking deluded and he doesn't even see it. And, and I know people don't see it either. I know that people are going to think, oh, you know, um, you don't know what you're talking about. Why you have problems with this and blah, 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 blah. The signs are all there, man. They're all there. And I'm just fucking tired and I want to know when it's going to stop. Allow yourself to look like a complete retard. It's like a Nazi, like, science experiment. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed our episode of Black. You can criticize others and point out the obvious, but at the end of the day, Everyone just wants to see you dress up like a retard. So he just said you can criticize others and point out the obvious. So he's, so, like, break down what he's saying. You can criticize others, which he does, and point out the obvious, which he does. So, and, and he was having, he had the same humor in his video that Ethan shows. But he's telling him everyone just wants to see you be a retard. That's... It's, that's a straw man, honestly. And you're, you're creating a, a false fact and, and shooting it down. He just keeps saying it. And, you know, no one has a problem with it. Like, people just, they don't fucking, I don't know how this stuff still works in 2018. Retard. Like a clown. We really need another not You can, you're cherry picking though. There's so many videos of him sharing his opinions and shit that people actually want to hear. And him starting discussions that make people want to talk about stuff. Even the video that I did, he was sharing his opinion about stuff. He just did it in a humorous way. There's all sorts of people on YouTube who talk about serious things in a humorous way. Hell, even I tell jokes while I'm, like, talking about shit because I'm just a naturally comedic person. Like, you know, they say comedians are the saddest people on the planet. You know, because laughter, the main point behind laughter is to cover up a worse emotion. So it's very common for you to see... People use humor to talk about serious things. Just cut like me in the world. Like a goof. To do the opposite of take yourself seriously. To do the opposite of take yourself seriously. And he's, he didn't say it, but he's saying it here that you, um, he didn't say the exact words, but again, 99% of communications is everything but the words we say. He's saying here that you shouldn't share your opinions because no one takes you seriously. I don't give a fuck if people don't take me seriously. I get called a fucking kid every single time I make a video. Everybody thinks I'm a teenager. Everybody thinks I'm, I'm either a preteen, a nine-year-old, or a teenager because I have this young-sounding voice, even though I used to be made fun of for having a deeper voice when I was a kid, so I had no clue until I was reading all these comments. And I'm, I'm not a fucking teenager. <laughs> I'm not a teenager. But I don't care if people don't take me seriously. I don't care how many people have a problem with what I have to say until I see someone actually give some logic and reasoning. I'm going to keep fucking talking. And if somebody does debunk something I have to say or shows that I am wrong, I will recognize that. I will admit it and I will try to improve on that because no one is perfect. 
Don't ever think I'm perfect. Don't ever think anyone is perfect. There are very, very, um, there are people who are better than others in a million different ways. That is a thing. You can be better at someone in a subject that you learn in class. You can be better at things that they don't teach in school. And you can be better at, at understanding people than other people are. And you can be better at being a decent person than other people are. Everyone is not the same. So everyone's better than someone else in something. And everyone can get better in the things that they do. You just have to put in the effort. So don't ever think that I'm not perfect. But I will say that I, I, I have... A lot of, I spend a lot of time focusing on psychology. I spend a lot of time focusing on humanity and how fucked up people are. So I'm never going to put myself in the same boat as someone like this. We're, we're not even playing the same game, man. But don't ever think that I'm perfect. And don't ever think that if someone doesn't take you seriously, you shouldn't talk about important things. Keep fucking talking. It's not about their opinion. And that shows he's insecure, by the way. The fact that he's saying, um, don't talk about, um, you know, the, 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 you, people aren't taking you seriously. <laughs> that means that he's insecure because why should you stop talking about your opinions just because people don't take you seriously? That's their opinion, not yours. Do you take yourself seriously? Do you give a shit about the fuck that you have to say? It's not about them. But this is where his brain is wired. People reveal little things about themselves all the time without even realizing it. He's very insecure. Very insecure. Oh, well, they, they, they don't take me seriously? Oh my God. Ugh. You know, at the beginning, he's like, this. I, it took a lot of time for me to make this video. Please watch the whole way through before sharing your opinions. He did the same thing I had everything does. He has to excuse himself before talking about his fucking opinion. I'm, I'm just so tired of it. It takes confidence to do that. Just don't convince yourself that people are coming to you for your well-rationed and reasonable opinions. Even though That's they not are. What got you here. Your funny and original content is what got you here. And it's the only thing that'll keep you here. When you take the F- Funny and original content. First of all, humor is subjective. Second of all, that's not the only reason why he got to where he is now. Third of all, it's not original. It's not original content. It's edge the war content. You all have the same fucking humor. So again, this guy is fucking stupid, but you also know what I'm not going to say in this video either is that he should stop talking and not talk about anything serious because he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. No, keep fucking talking. You sound fucking slow, but keep fucking talking or else how the fuck is anyone going to grow? I don't believe that this person will grow. One thing that I genuinely don't believe in is people's ability to change. I know it's possible, but that's something that I'm still struggling with is I, I've been working on like trying to determine what it takes for someone to change, you know, like the psychology behind recognizing your flaws, how to tell signs that somebody has a potential for change and what steps it takes. Just like how people have the stages of grief and stuff like that. People work in patterns for the most part. And I haven't figured out how to tell when somebody has potential for change or not. Like with Ethan, I, I had no clue he was going to actually talk about his issues. How could he, how would Ethan ever get to the point where he's like, yes, I have had these issues. I'm seeing a psychiatrist. I don't like psychiatrists and therapists and stuff, but some people can be helpful. So if they're a helpful person and just so happen to be a psychiatrist, then good. You saw them, you know? So he's like, I'm seeing a professional and I, I'm, I'm getting help for some of the bad things that I have. How would he ever get to this point if he never talked about his stuff? Imagine if Ethan just took this guy's advice and just did the stupid stuff or whatever and the edgelord content. He still is Ethan. Even when the cameras go off, he's still going to be him. In his video, in the podcast, and I'm going to put the links in the description. Please watch his, his whole take on, you know, who he's been for the past, you know, a uh, couple months, like getting away from the podcast channel, like trying to fix his life. Okay. He, even off camera, the way he is at home is toxic. And he talks about that. So you telling someone to silence themselves because of the opinion of the masses doesn't change who that person is. They're still just as fucked up when they go home. They're still just as fucked up when they turn off the camera. So how are they ever going to change? When you actually um, address your issues publicly, it, it gives you more potential for change. That's why people always, uh, people who know what the fuck they're talking about tell you if you're going to address a narcissist, for example, or a sociopath, do it publicly. Don't try to take them on one-on-one. -on -one. Don't do it. it you're, you're not going to make it. 
You need to you need to address them publicly. Because even if you can argue against them for five hours one-on-one, they're delusional. They will not listen to you. If what they say sounds good to them, everything you're saying is a waste of breath. If you can actually address it publicly, you have a better chance of impacting that person or changing the way that you're treated in life. So talking to people publicly is such an important thing. I can't say it enough. Like, I just... I'm so tired of this stuff. And the comedy away, you get, well, the podcast. You get a fucking shiny two-minute ad for a freemium game after four months of inactivity. You get bitter, cynical Ethan in his natural state. And, and, and you can't blame depression or anxiety for this, man. Like, He just said you can't blame depression or anxiety for this, man. And it's like, you don't understand psychology. You are misinforming everyone. You can't excuse your problems with, oh, I'm depressed or I have anxiety, but some of the blame can be on those things because that's a part of psychology. That's like saying, oh, you can't just blame your anger issues on you having anger issues. Yes, if you have anger issues, that's why you have anger issues. So what the fuck are you even saying? You can blame it on that, but like, it's still your responsibility. But understand that we have this, these sayings in the world hurt people hurt people people who are hurt tend to be depressed and traumatized a lot of rapists were raped when they were kids they were molested as kids and then they grow up to be rapists and pedophiles so that's that's trauma that turns you into the sick person uh, when people have pain a lot of the times they direct it outward and try to take others down. You know, people always have to bring, I, I, I want to talk about this more. It's not good for this video, but I want to address the subject of how in a lot of conversations, cause I can't think of any examples right now, but I want to have like a list of examples that you hear on a daily basis where people could take a conversation and address it the right way. But instead they bring everyone down to their level, you know, like they, it's, uh, I, I thought of one example, you know, how people are like, um, so you're saying that the person who's flipping burgers should make the same amount of money as a doctor? No, no one's saying that, but the person who's flipping burgers deserves to make a living wage. Do you get my point? The psychology behind that is, oh, I'm bitter about the fact that I'm not making as much money as I should be making. Um, so I don't want anyone else to make any more money either. No, the, the way that you should address that problem is you deserve more money and them. Everyone deserves to make a living wage. But instead, everyone's mentality is to take a bit, bring everyone down to your level or push them beneath you. You get my point? So it's this, this, it's this sick way of thinking that just drives me fucking crazy. It drives me fucking crazy. And he's, he's doing it here. Cynical Ethan in his natural state. And, and you can't blame depression or anxiety for this, man. So for him to say you can't blame depression or anxiety for this, yes, that's a big part of it. Him being depressed. The, like when you say this stuff to people, how are they ever going to figure out why they are the way they are when you tell them it's not those things? That's a big part of it. And they're not addressing their depression properly. They're not addressing their anxiety properly or whatever mental issues they have. They have those issues and their way of making themselves feel better is toxic. Like with bullies. Bullies feel pain and so they take it out on someone else. I explained in a recent video, I think it was the Are We Good video. I explained how um, an abusive, like abusive people specifically prey on empathetic people. You can look that up in psychology. It's a thing that abusers specifically prey on empathetic people. They have this natural detector for a victim, somebody who they can prey on. If you have a rock in your hand, you have three choices to throw it at a piece of glass at nothing or a bomb. The glass is someone with empathy. You're trying to break them. Nothing would represent somebody who doesn't have empathy. You know, someone who you can't hurt. And a bomb is someone who's more violent than you. So you're going to throw a rock at them and end up getting hurt yourself. You know, so out of those three things, you're going to pick the person with glass. People, people prey on empathetic people. People are abusive. They have to attack something else. They have to get a reaction out of something else. But it's because they are hurt or they feel like shit. They're not happy with their lives and all this other stuff. 
So it is because of those things. I'm gonna move on. Like, I know you've brought it up a number of times, but come on. Like, at this point, we need to see some progress. It's getting worse and worse. You need to- Listen to him. Oh, I, I know you brought it up a, a number of times, but we need to see some progress. Who the fuck are you to tell him how much progress he needs to make? You have fucked up problems too, dude. And you're not gonna be fixing them anytime soon. I can tell you that for sure. You're not. You're fucking delusional. Because somehow you think that you're on a, on a better level than he is. You got the same fucking mentality, dumbass. You have the same mentality as him. The same mentality as him. And you're telling him, oh, hurry the fuck up and fix your depression. Hurry the fuck up and fix... We have an issue right now. There are more psychologists and psychological professionals than there have ever been in history. And depression is on the rise. They are not helping. How are these people going to fix their depression? How are people going to fix their anxiety? How are people going to fix their, their, their PTSD? How are people going to fix any mental health issue they have, even if it's something like, even, how are they going to cope with being a psychopath? They're born that way. Psychopaths are born as psychopaths, and they have to learn methods to cope. How are people going to learn this, this stuff when the whole practice of being a psychologist and a therapist and all that shit is fucked up? The way that they treat patients is not the way that you're supposed to fix things. They're, they're not doing what they should be doing. So how are they going to get help? How are you going to tell somebody to get help? What suggestion do you have? You make it seem like it's easy. I I can't stand this shit. This is why I'm fucking angry. You make it seem like it's easy for somebody to fix their mental problems. Ethan does have mental issues. I've never I've never thought anything different from that. I just want people to fucking change. And you talk it's, and you talk about it as if it's as if it's something you got to get over in a year. You you got to get over in a couple months. You you do realize that these things foster over decades of your life trauma, depression, anxiety, PTSD. These things can happen over over years. Most people are sociopathic and narcissistic. It took them years to get that way. They didn't start off like that. And you're telling him hurry up because you don't see results. I, I I can't fucking stand this guy. Be actively trying to help yourself if that is the case. You need to be actively trying to help yourself. You don't know what he's doing in his spare time. And you're not giving any suggestions. I hate it when people do that. You need to go get help. They always tell you to go get help from someone else. They always tell you to go talk to someone else. They always tell you to go just, just fix it. You can fix it. I swear. And he's got that fucking music. Listen to the music. You need to be actively trying to help yourself if that is the case. Look at, listen to how pretentious this guy is. Do you hear the fucking symphony going on in the background while he's talking? I'm saying this intelligent, brilliant stuff. Listen to how smart I sound. You need to fix your own mental health issues quickly because we aren't seeing enough results. You need to hurry it up and you can't blame it on the mental health stuff anyway. So why is he supposed to be fixing it if it's not why he's like that? Why are you even telling them to hurry up and fix it if you're saying that that's not the dumbass? Ace. So pretentious. Life is but a walking shadow. Blah, blah, blah. And this, I would not have made this video. In the, okay. All right. Now I'm going to discuss one last issue that I have with you. If I hadn't seen this, I would not have made this video. In the 27th podcast you made, you had an entire segment where you talked about shoe nice. And I was thinking about having him on the podcast because he's just such All a right. couple weeks. I don't even remember. Of him rank like an asshole. Like and, and he said some derogatory comments about you and Tila, and it was basically just him making himself look like an asshole. Like he's obsessed with, the, with, yeah. with insulting you specifically. <laughs> I love the uh, twist anti-Semitic at the end. So for those of you who don't know, shoe nice is a crippling alcoholic. He got really popular in 2011, 2012 for some videos of him basically slamming liters of alcohol within a few seconds. Get sad. Shoe nice. Me and my elementary school friends used to watch Shoe Nice all the time. And watching his videos, it, it does not take a genius to know that this guy is not in a good place. He is. He's, he's a raging alcoholic. And You see how this guy thinks that he has, like, this moral center? Do you see what I'm saying? Like, how this guy is delusional? You're talking about somebody who's a crippling alcoholic. You don't know Ethan's issues. And you're talking about him. That's what people do. I don't give a fuck what your fucking issue is. If you're doing something fuck up, fucked up, I'm going to criticize you. I'm going to. And if it's if it's because you have some sort of mental mental disease and I didn't know about it, if I end up doing an update, I'm like, oh, I didn't know he had that problem. Everything he did is still fucked up, though. I don't give a fuck if it's because of your mental disease. It's still fucked up. 
So everything I said is it still stands. You don't know Ethan's issues in real life. You don't know how they affect his behavior and why he is the way he is. So whether it's alcohol or if you have some sort of problem in your brain, anyone who does something fucked up has an issue that makes them that way. Whether it's alcohol or something else, it's, it's this issue that's making them the way that they are. So with your logic, you shouldn't criticize anyone because it's because of that thing. Did you know that this person is a narcissist? They have this deeply rooted psychological problem that's going to take years of therapy for them to figure out. So why are you going to talk to them as if they, that's the logic that you're using right now. Oh, he's an alcoholic. He's been drinking for years. You know, you can't talk about how, shut the fuck up. That's, that's when you tell someone to shut up when, when they're, they're misinforming on a specific issue. I'm going to say it's time for you to stop talking about this issue because you're not making any fucking sense. Never once in any of my videos have I gone into so much detail like he has or any detail at all saying, oh, you can't talk about these things because people don't take you seriously. Like, again, context. Listen to the context when he speaks. He's discouraging people from talking because he's pretentious. He thinks he's smart. He has the right to talk about his... his ideas of how people should be because he thinks that he's smart and in the right and people are in the wrong should, should just shut up that's how he thinks that's not how I think so when we say shut up or whatever it comes from two completely different places and the way he says it is fucking awful it's fucking awful so yeah like context is very important and that's something people lose all the time they don't know how to look at context and any brainless fucking idiot can tell what context I'm speaking in throughout this video versus his. If you've ever seen his Vice documentary, which I recommend, you can see that the guy is not all there. He has some issues. He's not all there. Yeah, there's a lot of people who aren't all there. Narcissists aren't all there. Psychopaths aren't all there. Sociopaths aren't all there. Serial killers aren't all there. Pedophiles aren't all there. Rapists aren't all there. You're not all there. The fuck? Like, yeah, if you're not all there, don't criticize them. Shut the fuck up. Like, that sounds so... Oh, God. So, back to my point. You know, I just... This video... This is the type of shit that just makes me depressed. It, it makes me seriously depressed. Like, I just... This is why I've just given up on people as a whole. I. This is why I don't believe in people's ability to change or, you know, people getting better or whatever. And that's not why I make my videos. I've explained why. But just looking at... I just don't understand. Like, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm at a loss of words at this point. I will say one other thing that I, I forgot to mention that Ethan has said. He talked about how in his video where he addresses that he is... He has been doing some fucked up things in his life and he's trying to change that now. One thing he mentioned was when he edits his videos, he cuts out things when they don't look flattering and stuff. And he decided to do his podcast raw so he can just say everything he has to say live. You know, he doesn't, he used to cut things out and then he stopped. And he, he specifically said that he would cut it out and forget about it. Understand that everyone who makes videos who do jump cuts, they cut out embarrassing parts. So if somebody goes on a tangent that doesn't make sense, they're going to cut that out and all this other shit. And most people are embarrassed by those things. If I do something, if I say something that I don't want to have in my video, it's for usually a number of reasons. Either I'm stuttering too much, um, I'm being repetitive too much, I'm, you know, pausing too much, there's noise in the background... Or I said something and didn't mean it that way. And it's because I spend a lot of time, again, focusing on people's psychology and stuff. I am self-aware. I understand when I say stuff that there's a lot of things that I say where I know how it's going to fucking come off. And I'm like, that's not how I meant it. If I'm doing a live stream, you know, and I say those things, yeah, I can't cut it out. But in the live stream, I then have to spend a good minute or two trying to explain how I meant to say it because again the 99% of communication is everything but the words we say so I'm going to have to address it and try to break down like how I mean something and stuff like that so I'd rather just cut it out than waste my time trying to do that like sometimes I'll make a joke and I'm like I didn't say everything that's in my head so it sounds a certain way and I cut it out you know but even if 
you know, I, I leave something in and people catch me on that and then they call it out. I don't, I don't feel like I've actually been caught. Like everybody feels like, oh my God, you caught me. It's like, yeah, if I do something, then fucking point it out. Don't just put a halo over my head because I talk about these things. You know, I'm always looking for room for improvement. I'm not perfect and I'm not the smartest person out there. I'm not the best person out there. I'm not. No one is. It's not just something people say to be humble. A lot of people do, but nobody is. Everybody has their own things that they're good at. And with me, these are the things that I care about a lot. But even in these subjects, there's somebody out there who knows more than me. Like, everyone knows more than everyone else in certain ways. So, even, and even if you know the most in a particular subject now, someone's going to come along and hear the things you have to say and build off of it, you know? So, no one's perfect. And it's like, it's like, I don't, I, I think it was really important that Ethan mentioned that he cuts out things that he says and forgets about it. He specifically said he just forgets about it. I never forget. I remember when I do things that I cut out and I, I, if it's something I don't like, I try not to repeat it because I'm like, ah, I don't like that. You know, I, I always look for room for improvement. So it's just, I don't know. Like I'm just, I'm just dead after watching this because people watch this shit and he's just like him except Ethan is trying to change now. Honestly, I really hope that Ethan takes it even further. I hope he starts to recognize more things about himself and fixes more of his problems. I really do. And yeah, I don't have any hope for this guy. I never have hope for anybody to change anymore. I used to be like that when I was a kid, but I don't believe in people anymore. So anyway, I I don't have anything else to say <sighs> except, you know, the usual. Thank you for watching. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting my channel. Honestly, it means so much when you guys comment your opinions um, in the, the comment section. I don't appreciate everyone's opinions. I'm never going to do that shit. I appreciate all the comments. Like, I hate everything says and shit when he doesn't. I don't appreciate all the comments, but I do appreciate the fact that I get comments talking about the things I talk about. Like, I want to hear people's opinions. I want to have discussions with people, you know. I want to see how people feel about the things I have to say. So I, I do appreciate that in my serious videos these days, like I've had people like saying a lot of things and just thanks again for supporting me. It, it really means a lot, but stuff like this, I could just really do without, I'm just like, this stuff just makes me dead inside. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. You want to know what really pushed me to make this video? The fact that you made fun of shoe nice. Now you've gone too far. Fucking moron.